So this is basically going to be a bottom piece, which is just um, a bowl or a small cylinder. And then you, the lid will be um, have a place to put the butter. So this can be any shape you want it to be. You want it to be uh, enough wide. Not, if it's too narrow, it's probably not good. So probably want at least you know three and a half to four inches wide. That's right. Just push it in with my finger. Good. This I use a pound and a quarter for each piece, but you could use a little less or a little more depending on what size you want it to be. Do you keep it straight up and down or is it more in the bottom, less on top? Uh, Which is the right thing to do? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, you need it to be, you need to have that space going down from the top to the bottom so that's going to be the same because the piece that goes down in there needs to be able to sit all the way down in. What, it, not all So this is the insert? Yes. Now the other thing when you're, so this is going to be a cylinder with a flange and then um, so you don't want the cylinder to be open. Uh, it, it needs to be just slightly tapered in at the top to hold that butter in there. Better. Holds the butter better. Mm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to um, Open in the center. And come out like so. Okay, it's, I can't even put it down like that. <laughs> now I'm going to compress that bottom. Now, when I start my pull in, what I'm going to do, usually I go all the way down to the bat and fish in uh, for this next pull. But what I do in this case is you I come up. up for the flange. Right. So instead of pushing all the way down here, I come up about, you know, uh, half an inch or so and push in there like that. Mm. So I've got this clay down here left over, which is not actually enough. So I'll push down a little bit more. Okay, so come up half an inch before you start pulling. Right, or, yeah. I'm gonna check my width. Okay. <laughs> pull the cylinder here. See, I've just got it slightly tapered in here. Mm -hmm. And this line in, that's mine. So I'm going to actually cut a little bit of that off and get to my needle tool. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to make sure of my width and you want to check all the way down. And you can stop the wheel to do this right better. So I need to bring that in mm -hmm. down here just a little, little bit. bit. Okay. So I'm doing it by just coming here and then just fishing straight down the wall. Mm -hmm. so. From top to bottom or bottom to top? Uh, I did from top to bottom, but you can do it either way. Yeah. But I needed a little more clay down there anyway. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to. Uh, I use, use one of these. Uh, it's important here when you uh, start in for this, I'm going to just kind of compress that flange in here uh, to prevent any kind of cracking because this is a stress point in the time you're making this type of form, whether it's a flower pot with the attached vase, bacon cooker, or whatever, uh, chip and dip. This makes a kind of a stress point, especially if you have a difference in thickness between the outside flange and the inside bottom. 
Uh, and if you have, you know, if the wall is not real even, then it makes a lot of stress in there. So I'm gonna just compress that from outside to in really nice. And these kind of hard plastic ribs work good for that. And then I'll just take my straight rib here. And just like I did the plate for that garlic thing, I'm gonna push that in <laughs> and just lift that edge up and just kind of pull it out a little bit. And then, so it's kind of coming up, so then when it's on the thing, it'll be going down. Mm. 